so uh, the artists who are producing interesting stuff are usually somehow connected to either um, Linz or Berlin. Uh, this is an example of, a, of an emerging uh, talent uh, of Czech media scene, Proko Bartoniček. Uh, someone, uh, because I also work as a curator, someone who, uh, I really enjoy working with and currently we are developing even uh, some new installations together. He's the one who uh, develops always different type of a medium uh, in order to convey his messages. So this is a, a project called Vibrator, which was connected to the largest porn server, and uh, uh, people at the exhibition site could, it's actually a piece of a very large uh, Vibrator, uh, 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 which is a piece of a glass art, but uh, uh, with Arduinos inside, uh, it can uh, keep track of the uh, uh, activity of those servers and can replay them. So at the exhibition side, it's, it has become quite popular. Uh, there, are, I'm, I'm showing just two examples of the works to give you an idea that uh, some of the Czech media artists are not focused only on like screen-based media, and they try to go beyond that, which I appreciate a lot. Uh, another one, uh, also Berlin-based, uh, Martin Kohout, uh, has been developing this uh, variable system uh, with an inspiration uh, of providing an experience between two people and uh, trying to put them into a position when these people are responsible for each other's uh, movements because uh, uh, as you move, the, uh, your movement is being mapped on the vibrations of the second vest that the other pe person is wearing, so you can cause either pleasurable vibrations or even pain in the uh, other people's vest. So these are just few examples of um, the artworks that have been developed in Prague. Uh, when it comes to education, uh, our organization has been very much into uh, a kind of um, uh, providing what is missing at the university system. So. Uh, we have, uh, for the seven years, already been uh, developing a summer school called Transistor, which originally was titled Transdisciplinary Training in Information Society Technologies, but uh, uh, when it comes to uh, real life, we are actually uh, providing four days uh, intensive modules uh, with uh, some excellent speakers and hands-on experiences for people to work in different domains. Uh, during the last uh, few years, we have been mainly working in 3D uh, stereoscopic movies, like teaching people how to uh, create their uh, 3D, um, uh, uh, not only 3D, but stereoscopic movies with 3D elements. So we are interested in uh, how to insert 3D objects and uh, characters into uh, stereoscopic movies. Uh, we have developed recently uh, a program called Koala, which is uh, compared to Transistor, which is like paid workshops, you know, but still uh, affordable for people. And it's an international training. We also do this Koala, which is the uh, Open Art Lab, which is every Thursday uh, people are coming to our laboratory and it's like a low treasured access uh, uh, to experts who are uh, ready there and available to give uh, technical assistance for development of projects or for consultations. And with um, a pretty new, uh, newly established platform called Reset, uh, we are uh, making kind of an um, umbrella concept for uh, arts, science, technology, uh, different educational programs provided in Prague. So every week there are lectures, workshops taking place. Just uh, in the beginning of December, uh, we organized uh, a set of uh, events covering three days focused on uh, media archaeology, so th this is uh, a few screenshots from the conference. Uh, there was a workshop on retro computing with a lot of children enjoying, um, uh, because the generation that remembers and could have brought uh, to the exhibition site uh, the old uh, computers are usually now having children, so there was a f uh, like intergenerational dialogue uh, around computing. And we also did 8-bit uh, uh, evening of performances, so I think this uh, uh, looking at the origins of technologies is also pretty useful, and we plan to uh, to come back to that again. Um, because the time here is limited, I just wanted to fo uh, like describe um, two of our current initiatives, uh, which uh, I think can very well uh, demonstrate why we shouldn't somehow be only uh, Europe-centered anymore. Uh, I just uh, at lunchtime uh, discussed with Francesco that there are regions uh, that are so fast uh, developing uh, that um, 
it would be a shame not to somehow be in touch. And what we are now interested in is actually to uh, to <coughs> work with the regions that are pretty hard to access and uh, develop different mo uh, like working models of collaboration which could overcome uh, the this distance-based uh, 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 problems. 